So here's a Utah teacher that is threatening in this, in this ridiculous political rant her students and just kind of goes on this long tirade through every woke far left wing kind of ideology type thing and basically slams her students for believing in anything else but what she believes in here's what this sounds like what the problem I, I'll, I'll straight up call it out i'm like so over it okay okay well i would be super proud of you if you chose to get the vaccine but yeah so, like, this is awesome. Great start to the year. Our is that, like, Yeah. We'll just keep getting Delta. We'll just keep getting variants over and over and over until people get vaccinated. It's never going to end. Exactly. It could end in five seconds if people would get vaccinated. Yes. I hate Donald Trump. I'm going to say it. I don't care what y'all think. Trump sucks. He's a sexual predator. He's a literal moron. Go tattle on me to the freaking admin. They don't give a crap. Yes. No, he is not. He what is. are you talking about? Are you <laughs> Turn off the Fox News. Do your parents listen to the Fox News? So what? <laughs> this is my classroom, and if you guys are going to put me at risk, you're going to hear about it. Because I have to be here. I don't have to be happy about the fact that there's kids coming in here with their variants that could possibly get me or my family sick. That's rude. And I'm not going to pretend like it's not. So don't ask you me to. All the That's all the damn right. <laughs> I'm not going to pretend. I'm not going to lie. If you ask me a legit question, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sugarcoat it either. Because y'all need to hear the truth. Hey, I'm going to set the creek. You have a You have a video. <laughs> you don't have to be though. That's the thing. Most of y'all parents are dumber than you. I'm gonna say that out loud. My parents are freaking dumb. Okay? And the minute I figured that out, the world opens up. You don't have to do everything your parents say, and you don't have to believe everything your parents believe. Because most likely you're smarter than them. I have 110% disagree. My parents are geniuses. I'm the idiot of the family. Like 110%. You can believe what you want to believe, but keep it quiet in the ear because I'm probably going to make fun of you. Do you <laughs> okay, I'll just say this. Here are the, here are the topics that you probably want to avoid in this class. Politics. Which yes. you went into, you asked me. Oh, I could go off on it the whole entire class period if you want me to. <laughs> but I'm not going to. <laughs> if you don't believe in climate change, get the hell out. Okay? <laughs> that's, that's pathetic that you think that. You're the problem with the world. <laughs> okay? <laughs> if you're a homophobe, get out. Thank you. Because I am the GSA faculty advisor. I love gay people. <laughs> All LGBTQIA plus mother -wifers. If you don't like it, get out. I, if I hear you say a damn word against any of them, I will open a can and I will make your life a living hell. And they know it. If you say shiz to any LGBTQ kid in the school, I will hear about it and you will be in trouble. All right, so she's in there talking about uh, the kids and saying that they aren't vaccinated. And, and once again, like this is people need to understand. Nobody else is responsible for your health. Okay. Democrats are trying to constantly 
pin this on people. I, I pointed this out countless times online, on Gab. I post about this all the time where I'm basically telling people, look, the, the Democrats are telling you, hey, get this vaccine, get this vaccine. They get the vaccine, they contract COVID, and then they blame people that didn't get the vaccine as a result of doing it. How stupid does that sound? It sounds stupid because it is stupid, okay? But that's what you have this lady in there saying. It's like, look, if your vaccination works, why are you concerned about whether other people are or not? You're basically saying it's because of you, someone else, that I got sick and I'm blaming it on you. And even though I did all of the stuff that the Democrats wanted me to do, I wore my mask, I, I did all of the stuff and I got vaccinated with every single vaccination under the ocean, but this still happened to me. Okay, that can happen to you, but don't blame other people. You're the one that put your faith in that, and, and that failed you. It, it is what it is. So she goes on and she makes this statement, and she says, you don't have to do everything your parents say, and you don't have to believe everything your parents believe. It's like, okay, I mean, sure, but you're asking an entire classroom to believe what you believe. I mean, maybe you're a little biased, is all I'm saying, right? I mean, come on. It's ridiculous that you want these these kids to adhere to what you have to believe in, but don't believe your parents. Believe me. I'm going to get mad if you say anything that I disagree with. Yeah, pretty hypocritical if you ask me. And then you have these people. And keep in mind, these people are teaching your children, okay? They're teaching kids in public schools. This is why we're talking about indoctrination because this is the stuff that's happening. The only thing is, is that they, these, uh, or this particular video was obviously looks like captured by a student on a cell phone or something like that. But in most of these situations, you may never know. You may never hear about it because there's no video of it that went viral or anything like that. You just have teachers espousing these political beliefs and kids are just stuck to deal with it. And that shouldn't be happening in any public school whatsoever that values actual education whatsoever. But luckily in this situation is a bit of a silver lining uh, in that the school actually did fire or at least put on administrative leave, which is basically fire the teacher as a result of this. So a statement came out from the school saying we became aware late this afternoon of an incident that took place today in one of our high school classrooms. An immediate investigation ensued. The school district uh, was talking about as well. And they went on to say the employee has been put on administrative leave pending a thorough investigation. This behavior is inappropriate, not reflective of the professional conduct and decorum we expect of our teachers and will not be tolerated. So, that's good. At least it kind of ended well and they did the right thing because ultimately teachers will continue to believe that they can do whatever they want in this. I mean, and it probably was because she was kind of threatening the students. Like if you disagree with anything in the LGBTQIA plus ARP community, then blah, blah, blah. I'm going to, I'm going to beat you up or, or whatever she was basically saying, uh, you know, and, and it's just crazy. It, you shouldn't have teachers like this teaching students whatsoever at all but there's plenty more like this trust me this isn't the last we're gonna see of teachers getting outed and exposed for the the real hacks that they really are in the classroom for actually indoctrinating people but when people ask me where's the indoctrination this is it you just watched a clip from the william hall show please remember to like share and subscribe